Hello and welcome. I got asked some questions, so I'm going to answer one of these questions. This will be a short video. It's about object aggregation. So, for example, if you ever use mobility and you want to get the position of a node, you use get object to get that position. Uh, so what is aggregate object? So NS3 provides this function that can aggregate two objects, meaning that you can basically use one object, aggregate the other object with it. So it became, becomes kind of associated with it. When you do that, let's say I'm aggregating N0 with the object called user. If I do that, then I'll be able, <coughs> sorry, I'll be able to uh, uh, use N0 to get the object user or use the object user to get to N0. Basically, one of them become accessible through the other. So how do we do it? First of all, the object you want to ag aggregate, the two objects to be aggregated will have to be of a subclass NS3 object. And they have to define get type ID and specify a type ID like that, specify their parent as, you know, the object. You don't need the NS3 colon. And also, uh, uh, you d add a constructor. So you only do the default constructor. I actually do have um, another class here. So uh, let me go back. So basically, it's a class with just a double value, and I just set it and get it. And... And basically, I can go go through the. I'm I'm def doing the same thing, and I'm setting and getting the value. So here's the example. So I'm creating an object of type user class. So it has to be of a pointer type. So PTR here is an NS3 implementation of Smart Pointer. You might have seen something like that with Boost, but we we don't need to use Boost. So it has to be a pointer type uh, with this uh, generic or template. And so I specify the type and I call the function create object. Now the function create object is an NS3 function that calls, well, if I don't specify anything here, it will call the default constructor of the user class. There is also a function called create. This the function create, like here, when we create a packet, is used with classes such as packet that do not uh, that are not a subclass of NS3 object, okay? Anyway, so I create here, get, ob uh, sorry, where was I? Uh, create object, and I'm going to set the value to zero, and then I'm just going to obtain the first node. I just created two nodes, so I'm just going to obtain a pointer to the first node and aggregate this object with this object. Now, is an interesting thing. It's a one-to-one. -one. It's not like a copy. It doesn't get copied when I copy the object. So if I copy the object, new copy, and then I copy the object new uh, N0, um, you could see that the original node N0, and I'm just printing the pointer of this uh, object. I cannot obtain a pointer, uh, sorry, the pointer to user from new copy. I can only do it through N0. And so if I could do a new copy here, I will get zero here or null, okay? So I'm trying to access that object through that. So I have new copy. I'm trying to get the associated object of this type. I can only aggregate one object of one type. Uh, so, if, so I cannot aggregate another object of type user class to the same object, basically. So it's only one you can do it. And it's very useful for mobility. Uh, to, to get the mobility um, uh, object in NS3. So if I print this, this will print zero. Uh, now, this is how we use it. So I have N0, and then I get the object aggregated with it of type user class. So if I get that, object here will be the original object that I have here. So if I print user, it will be the same pointer. Where was I? So... Uh, user equal user. So this will print the same pointer. So it points to the same place in memory. And let me run this. 
and show you how it is. As you can see, uh, I did not say, yeah, a user here. So as you can see, this is the address value. It's the same as this pointer value. And I assigned it the value 12, um, which is the basically the instance variable. When I created the object, I just set the value to 12. So this is the idea basically behind uh, uh, object aggregation, okay? And I have another class here, dummy class. I'm just doing another test. Um, and doing the same thing. So this is about object uh, aggregation. It's really, there's nothing much to it. Uh, uh, why do we, why would it be uh, useful? Well, you know, every node you create in simulation. So if I have a function here, void fun, right? So this function here doesn't have an access. So when I create node container here, the scope of node container is only within this function. But I can actually get all the nodes using node list, get node zero, that will give me the first node. Um, let me say node, and, and, and I'll just call it something like that. And then I could do an, an, an um, let me say PTR user, and, and, and uh, no wait, uh, UUU, equals n and n get object and it's user class that's my type and then i just going to print cdc out in fun and you 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 was it get value i think so oh that's why i didn't auto complete to do this Come on, uh, get value, yeah. And so you can see here that with my simulation, because nodes are global, I can actually use them to aggregate things to them. And nodes don't get copied like other things, right? And so I can, I can just print the value here. So let me just call this, um, or maybe simulator schedule seconds move to five seconds I want to call fun and that's it right I think that's how I call it and let me just print now so I think that's the I don't need this because I'm not in a class so if I print if I run it again uh, why? Why is there a problem? Uh, std and L. For some reason. Okay. So let's try to run this again. And I should get... See, I time this. We print fun. Uh, one thing to note before I end this video... It is create objects function, which is used when we have objects of, uh, when we want to call the constructors to, ob uh, to classes or types that, that are a subclass of NS3 uh, get object, right? On the other hand, uh, create only, why is this not moving at all? No? Why? Keyboard is acting funny, okay. Uh, whereas the create, where is that? So when I create a packet, packet does, is not a subclass of uh, NS3 object. So uh, if I go to the class here, you could see it's, it's, it's a subclass. It's basically, it's, it's not a subclass of object um, like other classes. Uh, most classes in NS3 are subclasses. Uh, similarly, there is a function called copy and copy object. So you can see here I use copy object somewhere. Yeah, copy object is used for objects that are, um, what's the word, subclasses of NS3 object. And copying packets, we use just copy, right, the function copy. That is it. 
thank you for watching this. I hope that clarifies abject aggregation with a simple example. Um, you know, you can think about scenarios where you can use that or where that can be useful. Thank you and have a nice day. And, uh, you know, subscribe, send me a comment if you need uh, to have questions. I'll leave my email on this video maybe. So, all right. Bye-bye.